Blogger Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Blogger. Blogger is a powerful platform that makes it easy for anyone to create and publish their own blog. Whether you're an aspiring writer, a passionate blogger, or a business owner seeking an online presence, Blogger offers a user-friendly interface and a plethora of customizable features to bring your ideas to life. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the basics of Blogger, from setting up your website to creating compelling blog posts. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Blogger, the first step is to create an account. First, visit the website blogger.com and once you're on the homepage, look for the Create Your Blog button. Clicking on this button will direct you to another page where you'll be prompted to sign into your Google account in order to proceed with Blogger. If you already have a Google account, simply enter your email address in the designated box and click on Next to move forward. However, if you do not have a Google account, you will need to create a new one. Once you've created your account, you can then continue to access Blogger. Since we already have a Google account, we can enter our email address in the provided box and press Enter. After that, we'll be asked to enter our email password. Once we've entered the correct password, we can click on Next to proceed with the login. Then you'll be prompted to give you a blog, your blog a name, choose the URL and the display name of your blog. When starting a blog, one of the first decisions you'll need to make is choosing a name that represents your blog's identity and content. It's essential to come up with a unique and memorable name that captures the essence of what your blog's all about. Keep in mind that the name should not exceed 100 characters in length. For this tutorial, we'll name our blog Best Blog. Once you've decided on a name, click on the Next button to proceed with the setup. However, if you're not ready to choose a name at this moment, you also have the option to skip this step and select a blog name later. After giving your blog a name, the next step is to select a URL, which acts as your blog's domain name. To do this, you will enter your chosen blog name into the address section. For instance, for this tutorial, we'll use the address bestblog369. It's important to note that your URL needs to be unique. Since you're utilizing a free URL provided by Blogger, your site's URL will include the word blogspot. However, if you prefer to exclude Blogspot from your URL, you'll have to acquire a custom domain. Custom domains can be purchased from domain selling platforms like GoDaddy, Bluehost or Hostinger. Once you've decided on your domain name and configured your URL, accordingly click on the Next button to proceed to the next step of the setup process. Moving on to the next step, you'll be required to enter the display name for your site. The display name is what visitors will see on your site's homepage when they visit it. In this step, you need to input the name that you've previously chosen for your site. In our example, since we named our website Best Blog, and our domain name also includes these words, it's recommended to use the same name as your display name. However, it's not mandatory, and you can opt for a different name if you prefer. In our case, we'll use Best Blog as the display name. Once you've entered the desired name, click on Finish to complete the setup process. After clicking Finish, the system will begin processing your site, which may take a few moments. Once the processing is complete, you'll be directed to your Blogger website dashboard. From there, you can start customizing your blog, creating posts, and managing the various aspects of your blogging journey. The Blogger dashboard provides an overview of the various features and tools available to manage your Blogger website. When you access your Blogger dashboard, you'll notice a left navigation menu that we would like to provide an overview of before customizing your blog. If you have multiple Blogger websites, you can easily switch between them by clicking on the drop-down menu button located next to your Blogger website name at the top of the left menu. Additionally, you have the option to create a new blog website by clicking on the drop-down menu and selecting New Blog. The New Post tab allows you to create a new blog post, providing you with a platform to share your thoughts and ideas. Under the Posts tab, you can access all of the blog posts you've created or drafted. 
if you have published a blog post, it will appear in this section and you can view it along with the associated comments on the right side. By hovering over a specific post, you can manage it using the available options that appear. The Stats tab provides an overview of your website's performance, displaying the number of followers, posts and comments. You can also access the analytics for your latest posts in this section. In the Comments tab, you can view and manage the comments left by readers on your blog posts. If your blog or website is monetized, the Earnings tab will display your earnings. However, if you haven't monetized your website yet, you'll see another option to create AdSense account, allowing you to start earnings from your blogs by creating an AdSense account. Under the Pages tab, you can manage the pages on your blog or website. This section provides a comprehensive view of the pages you've created, giving you the ability to edit or delete them as, ne as needed. The Layout tab enables you to manage the overall layout of your blog or website. You can customize and organize different sections of your website layout or add new ones to enhance the design and functionality. In the Themes tab, you'll find the Blogger Theme Library, offering a variety of free themes provided by blogger.com. Here you can select and apply different themes to give your website a unique and visually appealing look. The Settings tab allows you to manage various aspects of your website settings. Here, you can modify the title, description, language and other settings to align with your preferences and optimize your blog or website. Overall, the Blogger dashboard serves as a centralized control panel where you can navigate through different sections and utilize the available features to manage and customize your blog or website effectively. Now let's see how to create a blog post on Blogger. Creating a blog post on Blogger is a straightforward process. To get started, locate and click on the plus new post button. Once clicked, you'll be redirected to the Blogger editor interface where you can begin crafting your post. In the Blogger editor, the first step is to enter a title for your blog post. This can be done by typing the desired title into the designated title field. Afterward, you can proceed to write the content of your blog post on the blank page. This is where you can let your creativity flow and share your thoughts, ideas or information with your readers. Below the title field, you'll find various options for customizing your blog post. These options allow you to enhance the appearance and style of your content. For instance, you can modify the font type and size, apply formatting such as bold, italic, underline or strike through. Additionally, you can experiment with changing the font color and even the background color of your blog post. In addition to text customization, the Blogger Editor offers additional features to enrich your blog post. You can insert or edit links within your content, allowing readers to navigate the relevant websites or pages. Furthermore, you have the ability to insert images and videos, making your blog visually appealing and engaging. If you wish to include special characters in your blog, Blogger provides a convenient option for inserting them as well. To access even more customization options, click on the three dots located within the editor. This action will reveal additional settings and features that you can utilize to tailor your blog post to your liking. Adding images and videos to your blog post can greatly enhance its visual appeal and engagement. In Blogger, the images you add to your blog posts are stored in a Google album archive, ensuring easy access and management. When you upload images to Blogger, they undergo compression and optimization for the web. This process reduces data usage and enables faster load times for your readers. Importantly, these optimized images do not count against your Google storage quota. However, it's important to note that Blogger does not currently support storing large images in their original quality. To add an image to your blog post, simply follow these steps. Firstly, locate and click on the Insert Image option at the top of the editor. This action will prompt a drop-down menu to appear presenting various upload options, such as uploading from your computer, Google Photos, Blogger, or via URL. Choose the appropriate source from which you want to upload the image. If you decide to upload an image from your computer, select the Upload from the Computer option. Proceed to upload the desired image file from your computer, and once uploaded, select the image and click Select to add it to your blog post. After adding the image, you can further customize its appearance. To change the size, caption, or alignment of the image, simply click on the image within the editor. This action will allow you to make adjustments and ensure the image complements your blog post effectively. 
Similarly, you can also add videos to your blog post to enrich your content. To do this, click on the Insert Video option at the top of the editor. You have the choice to upload a video from your computer or select a video from YouTube. Choose the desired video and click Select to add it to your blog post. By incorporating images and videos into your blog post, you can effectively engage your readers and deliver a more immersive experience. Take advantage of these features in Blogger to create visually stunning and captivating content. Now let's see how to add labels to your post. Labels play a crucial role in organizing and categorizing your blog posts on Blogger. Located on the right side of the editor, the option to add labels provides an effective way to classify your content. These labels serve as markers that help both you and your readers navigate and filter through your blog. To add labels to your blog posts, simply follow these steps. First, locate and click on the Labels option within the editor. This action will open a field where you can enter the desired label for your post. You can either type in a new label or choose from existing labels that you have previously used. If you wish to assign multiple labels to a single post, you can do so by separating them with commas. This allows you to categorize your content on a multiple relevant topics or themes, providing flexibility and ease of navigation for your readers. Labels are not only beneficial for organizing your posts, but also serve as a useful tool for your readers. By utilizing the labels you assign to your posts, readers can filter the content they receive, focusing on topics or categories of interest to them. This feature enhances the user experience and allows readers to explore your blog more effectively. Previewing, saving or publishing your blog posts is the final step before making your content available to your audience. In Blogger, you have the option to ensure that everything appears as intended before officially sharing it with the world. To preview your post, simply click on the Preview button. This action allows you to view how your post will look once it's published. It's a valuable opportunity to check the formatting, layout and overall appearance of your content. Previewing ensures that you can make any necessary adjustments or corrections before presenting your post to readers. Once you're satisfied with your blog and ready to proceed, you can choose to save it or publish it. To save your post without immediately publishing it, navigate to the top right corner of the editor. You'll find a drop-down button located next to the preview option. Click on this button and select Save from the option available. Saving your post allows you to keep it as a draft for future editing or publishing at a later time. On the other hand, if you're all ready to share your post with your audience, Click on the Publish button. By selecting this option, your blog post will be made publicly accessible on your blogger website. This action enables your readers to view, engage with, and provide feedback on your published content. It's worth noting that once you publish a post, you can continue to make edits and updates to it if needed. Blogger provides the flexibility to revise your published posts to keep them fresh and up-to-date. Now, editing or deleting a blog post on Blogger is a straightforward process that allows you to update or remove content as needed. To edit a published blog post, start by navigating to the Post tab located on the left menu. Clicking on this tab will display a list of all your blog posts, including both published and drafted ones. Find the post you wish to edit and click on its title. This action will open the post in the Blogger editor where you can make the desired changes to the content, formatting, or any other aspect of the post. Once you've finished editing, click on the Update button located at the top right corner of the editor. This will apply the changes and update your blog post accordingly. Deleting a blog post is also a simple process. Begin by clicking on the Posts tab in the left menu. This will show you your list of blog posts. Locate the specific one you want to delete and hover your cursor over it. As you hover, various options will appear. One of them is Delete. Click on the Delete option and a pop-up window will appear, asking you to confirm the action. To proceed with deleting the post, click on Trash Post in the pop-up window. Once confirmed, the post will be moved to the trash and effectively deleted from your blog. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Blogger. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that. Thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.